Okay, so here we're gonna show you how to cook roast beef just like you get at the deli. I was at the deli one day and I said, what kind of beef do you use to make your roast beef? The guy says, we use London broil. So I said, okay. So what I did was I went out and I bought a, a six pound piece and I cut it into six different pieces of one pound each. Um, so we're gonna show everybody how to cook it. So you got your uh, London broil over there. I like to take a little garlic and put some garlic inside the meat. You put a little oil in the pan, a little bit of butter, get it nice and hot, and uh, we'll be back. So now what we have to do, you have to take this out of the refrigerator and leave it out for about an hour. And then once you do that, then you have to dry it off because as it warms up, I guess there's too much moisture on it. So you pat it dry and then uh, we're gonna stick some garlic inside the London broil. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're gonna make a few cuts here to stick the garlic inside the meat. Kind of gives it some flavor. Stick that garlic right in there. Nice and deep. <clears throat> the next step will be seasoning and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. And uh, what we're gonna use is Montreal steak seasoning. And there you go. She's gonna season that up for us. Uh, you're covering the meat on. And then you have to rub it in. You have to do the sides also. Don't forget to do the sides. This is what gives the, uh, the meat a lot of flavor. There you have it. We'll be back. Okay, the pot is nice and hot. We're gonna set the timer for three minutes. When do you put the garlic in? Okay, and we're gonna end up putting some more garlic in the pan, but uh, we'll be back in three minutes when we get ready to flip this steak. Oh, I forgot to mention, let it set for about a minute or so and then just kind of spin it around a little bit just so it doesn't stick. And there you go, we'll be back. Okay, the first three minutes is up. Stir it around a little bit. Put that oil on the meat. You'll see how nice and brown that is already. And by the way, that seasoning has everything you need in it. What's it got? What's it got that Onion, seasoning? garlic. Onion, garlic, salt, pepper. pepper. There we go, so we're doing another three minutes. And then I think we're gonna do the edges a little bit, like a minute on each side. We'll be back. So here's another thing too. What I want you to do is, you see that oil moving? We wanna make sure that that oil is underneath that steak so it cooks properly, because it likes to settle around the edges. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, we're just gonna move it around again in the pot. And by the way, we're cooking this at medium. And uh, get that juice over there. Do this every once in a while. We got about a minute left for the second set of three minutes. So we'll be back. Okay, six minutes is up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it on its side for about a minute. And you gotta roll it because the, uh, it's not, we're, we're basically trying to uh, do it sear the edges. And you see how we're rolling the piece of meat so it's cooking evenly across the side. You see 
see how she's uh, using up that grease, her oil, and butter. Adding some garlic uh, into the pot for some more flavor, some fresh garlic, only a couple pieces. Okay, she so did that one. Now we're gonna do another side. For another minute. See how nice and brown that one edge is that she just did? I'm getting hungry just looking at this. Mm -mm. You basically have to do at least a minute on each, each side. And we actually set the timer. See how we stir it around. This is a cast iron pot. It's really heavy. It weighs about 10 pounds. Now we're on the uh, third side. So she's going to do this for about a minute, and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Just finishing up on that end right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do some garlic and some butter. Butter like that. Stir it around. There we go. They're going to saute some garlic. So you get some garlic flavor on that butter. And then she's going to spoon that juice over the London broil. Just like that. And you'll see how she tilted the pot a little bit. So all the butter was on one side. You turn that over and then do it on the other side too. Yeah, I'd like to see if we turn that over and do some butter on this side too. Get that garlic flavor on both sides. Boy, that looks so um, yummy. There you have it. So we'll be back because we're going to slice this up on our meat slicer and uh, show everybody what the inside of the, uh, the London broil looks like after it was cooked. We have to let this steak sit for about 15 minutes so it can rest. But we'll be back. Thanks. Okay, we're getting ready to slice the roast beef up on our new slicer. And uh, there's the piece of meat all done, all rested, ready to cut. So, you know, I just want to let everybody know that uh, when I went to the market, I uh, seen that they were asking $15 a pound for this London broil if you bought it by the slice. So if you go to the deli, it's $15 a pound. But then I went to the butcher and it was $7.50 a pound. So you basically save half the price by doing your own roast beef. So here we go. We're gonna get started here in a second. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and uh, do some slices. Actually, I'm gonna take that 
thing right off of there. Okay, we're back and there you have it one pound fresh sliced roast beef and it is some yummy we'll talk to you later hope you enjoyed the video please like and share thank you and have a great day bye for now <laughs>